What's going on, everyone? Joe and Mike back again, buildassetsonline.com. Today, we're talking about, rather answering the question, can dropshipping make you a millionaire? And I have these numbers on the top of the screen. It's 25,000 times 40 equals 1 million. And I believe these numbers answer the question of whether dropshipping can make you a millionaire. Now, Mike hasn't seen these numbers, but 25,000 times 40 equals 1 million. Mike, can you decode that or can you not? Well, if you have a website that's making $25,000 profit a month, you can go and sell that website for 40 times its monthly profit, and that's a million dollars. Yeah, so to answer the question, can dropshipping make you a millionaire? Well, yes, if you have a website that is making <laughs> that much. But even before that, um, yeah. you, Yeah. So the question or is, you, you can just hold that website for a few years. Right. Right. So the question is making a website that makes $25,000 profit a month and being able to sell it, sell it for 40 times a multi, uh, the monthly multiple. That is the quickest way to become a millionaire with dropshipping. There is no other way out there that is going to be as legitimate as this or even close. But the question is, how do you do this? Because when someone buys a website that's making this much money, there's going to have to be multiple things in place. Number one, there's going to have to be consistency. So the site is going to have to earn $25,000 in profit for at least a year, right? And so how do you how do you do that? Do you do that with social media ads? Do you do that with TikTok ads? Or do you do that with search engine optimization? Which, which is the better option, Mike? You know, Joe, we put out a video the other day talking bad about TikTok ads, and someone commented like, well, people are making $200,000 a day on TikTok. And, you know, my, my reaction to that is, so what? You don't know what they're doing next week or the week after that or over the course of three years. On top of that, it's going to be very, very unlikely that you're also able to emulate those results. Well, let me, let, let, drop shipping. let me say this. Yeah, like you said, Mike, you make that one day and then the next day your next campaign fails, you lose it all. We've seen it over right. and over and over again. People doing this kind of so these social media advertisements, once in a while, they'll get a big break. They'll get a big break and they'll make a lot of money. Then they're going to lose it next the next week on their next campaign. Right. And that's the definition of shiny object syndrome is you see people that are doing these like huge quick numbers and you're like, oh, uh, but, you know, people are doing this in TikTok. They're doing it in crypto. Who cares? With high ticket drop shipping is a much more sustainable way that, you know, maybe your first month you make a couple thousand dollars, nothing to sneeze at. And then you build off that. You're not making a bunch of money and you have to reinvest that money, start from scratch. And maybe you don't make money on that campaign. Maybe they're not, they're not posting those results. So you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. But Joe, when we show results that we've sold the website, it's undeniable proof that we have operated a website for years on end that is continually profitable month over month. Yeah, and Mike, why is search search engines way more consistent than social media. Why is that? Because people are consistently searching for the same things month over month. Sure. There's seasonality where, you know, maybe over the, the summer months they search it more, but you have historical data that people are going to different people are going to be searching the same thing over and over and over every month. And so all you have to do is just put your, uh, your sign in the, in the, grass and just let people see it and then they come in the door and then they buy the great thing the great thing about search engine ads and search engine optimization is that you can go months and years without touching it and that's how you build consistency you get a page ranking in google you get a google shopping uh campaign that's doing well you get a text ad that's doing well you don't have to touch it you can move on to the next campaign and make that profitable because you know since people are searching stuff day in, day out, year over year, that campaign is going to make money for a long, long time. And so when you want to get to that million dollar mark and get to a point where you have a website making 25000 profit a month, it's just about having more and more pages ranking in Google and more and more um, ads that are profitable that's, that, and that are consistent. And that's all it is. Yeah. And again, you know, it may seem daunting to get to that, that number. And honestly, when we started out many years ago, I thought that would be, you know, something that would be a long shot. But really, once you are able to make a couple thousand dollars a month, you have the ability to make, you know, the 10,000, the 20,000 a month because it's all the same thing. 
You figure out how to make one text ad that's profitable. You just do it again. You do it again. Or you, you have a store that's making $10,000, you make a new store and you can replicate all the skills you learn through that into just a different niche. And there you have it. Yes. So to sum up, Mike, can dropshipping make you a millionaire? Yes, it can. But the best way to do it is the way that we show to do it. Search engine ads, search engine optimization, high ticket products, consistent sales, a business that someone would want to buy. And then boom, 1 million. That's it. Quick math. Buildassetsonline.com slash playbook. If you want to learn the, uh, the tricks of the trade, how we do it. Um, check it out there, buildassetsonline.com slash playbook. Take it easy.